I captured these photos of frogs in a pond with this 500 millimeter lens. Let me show you how I did it. Hey everyone, Sean here with photodeox.com, and I have been playing around with this beast of a 500 millimeter T-mount lens for a couple years now. Uh, I featured this in videos before. Uh, I put this on my Blackmagic Pocket Cinema Camera 4K. We've shown how to mount it on different mirrorless cameras, uh, but today I wanna get a little deeper into this lens. Now this is a five star 500 millimeter F8 lens. Super affordable, I think I got it for like $30 uh, used online. But you can get these for pretty cheap and believe it or not, they're actually pretty decent lenses. You do get some blue fringing, uh, they're not the highest quality optics, but I can actually get some pretty good results out of this lens. One of the reasons it's so inexpensive is it's not built like a normal telephoto lens. You know, high-end telephoto lenses are more compact and they have more optical elements kind of spread throughout. So you're paying for a much more high quality lens with a lot more optics. Uh, this lens only has a few. It has an optic in the front, optic in the middle, and then the rest of it's really just space. And that space allows for a much more cropped in image, a true 500 millimeter image without adding all the other optics. So again, like I said, not the highest quality image with this lens, uh, but if you're starting out with telephoto, if you're starting out with nature and you want to experiment, this is a great lens to start with. Okay, all that technical information out of the way, how do you use this lens on your mirrorless camera? Well, these lenses use a T-mount, which is this threaded mount right here, and Photo Deox offers T-mount lens adapters. We make them for all the mirrorless cameras. Uh, this is our T-mount to Sony E-mount adapter, and it's super simple to use. You just thread it on the back of your T-mount lens. Just thread it on until it locks into place. And then uh, this is the Sony E-mount one. So we just line up the red dot on the adapter with the white dot on the camera. There we go. But now we have this beast of a 500 millimeter lens on my Sony a7S II. Now with this setup, I've been getting some really great results. Here are some photos I captured. It's great for capturing wildlife because you can be really far away and get really close up on them without upsetting uh, the wildlife you're photographing. Uh, here is a photo of a gray heron. Uh, here is a photo of a swallow. And it's crazy to see a swallow this close up. You know, they dart around so quickly, you don't realize they have such beautiful texture and color to them. So the other day I took this setup out to a bog near my house to photograph frogs, because I've seen a lot of really big bullfrogs out there and I really wanted to capture them. But I ran into a bit of an issue because this lens has a minimum focus distance of 35 feet. And when you get 35 feet away from a frog, uh, generally it's really hard to see them. You know, they're kind of tucked around some reeds or bushes. Um, and I really wanted to use this lens because I think it would be a great tool to photograph frogs without getting too close to them because frogs are super skittish. And when I tried to photograph them with shorter lenses, they always end up jumping and swimming away. So I found a solution to this problem and it's actually pretty simple. You just add a macro extension tube. Uh, now this might seem a little strange. Macro extension tubes are made to put between a lens and a camera so you can focus super close up, you know, like a couple inches. But believe it or not, when you put this much space between a lens as long as 500 millimeters, it doesn't actually turn it into a macro lens. What it does is it simply reduces the minimum focus distance. Uh, so I was able to use this macro extension tube and reduce the minimum focus distance to about 10 feet. So I could get closer to the frogs, focus up on them. It also cropped in the 500 a little bit more. I'm not sure how much, but it definitely was a little bit more than 500 millimeters with this extra length. So let me show you how to mount this. It's pretty simple. Uh, this is our manual macro extension tube for Sony E-mount cameras. Uh, we make these for pretty much every camera mount. Uh, we also make an auto macro extension tube so uh, it can communicate between a Sony E-mount lens and a Sony E-mount camera and give you macro focusing capabilities. Uh, this is the manual only one, which is fine because this lens is fully manual anyway. Uh, and we're going to mount it between the Sony E-mount adapter and the Sony E-mount camera. There we go. Now with this setup, I was able to focus as about 10 feet. And here are some of the photos I captured. And this is great because now I could get much closer to the frogs, still pretty far away, you know, 10 to 15 feet away. And I could focus on them, get really, really close up on them. And the frogs were not scared away because I was still far enough away from them to not startle them. 
I love some of the texture I was able to capture on these frogs. Uh, you can see their warty backs, uh, their legs under the water. Uh, and I love the effect, how the water is actually magnifying their legs. It was really cool to see the different kinds of frogs out there. I'm no frog expert. Uh, there are lighter green ones, uh, darker ones. Uh, here's one with a beautiful bluish mouth. And I'll definitely have to do a little bit more research into frogs uh, to see what's going on with some of these color variations. Okay, so that's a quick look at how I was able to take this 500 millimeter lens and reduce the minimum focus so I could use it for frog photography. Click the links in the description below uh, to learn more about our T-mount lens adapters and also our macro extension tubes because like I've shown you here, if you pair them, uh, you can do some pretty interesting things with T-mount lenses. And click right here to subscribe to our YouTube channel for more videos just like this one. I'm Sean with PhotoDeox.com and thanks for watching.